Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Fish and Chips Freshly caught fish served with fried potatoes. Fish and Chips is a classic and beloved British dish that consists of battered and fried fish, usually cod or haddock, served with deep fried potato chips, French fries. While it's not native to St. Helena, it may be available on the island due to its historical British influence. Here's a brief overview of how fish and chips is traditionally prepared and enjoyed. Ingredients White fish, cod, haddock, or other firm, white fleshed fish fillets are commonly used. Batter A simple batter is made from flour, water or beer, and sometimes a leavening agent like baking powder. It should be smooth and slightly thick. Potatoes Russet or Maris Piper potatoes are commonly used for making thick-cut chips. Oil. A high-temperature cooking oil, such as vegetable oil, is used for frying. Salt and vinegar. These condiments are commonly used to season the fish and chips. Preparation. Peel and cut potatoes. Potatoes are peeled and cut into thick strips to make the chips. Prepare the batter. The batter is made by mixing flour, water or beer, and sometimes a pinch of baking powder. It's important not to overmix, as a light batter results in a crispier texture. Coat the fish. Fish fillets are dipped into the batter, ensuring they are fully coated. Fry. The battered fish and potato chips are deep fried separately in hot oil. The fish is cooked until the batter is golden and crispy, and the chips are cooked until they are golden brown and crispy on the outside with a fluffy interior. Drain. After frying, the excess oil is drained by placing the fish and chips on paper towels or a wire rack. Season. The dish is traditionally seasoned with salt and malt vinegar. Some people also like to add other condiments like tartar sauce or ketchup. Serving and enjoyment. Fish and chips is typically served in a simple and unpretentious manner. The hot and crispy fish fillets are placed on a piece of white paper, often newspaper in traditional fish and chip shops. The chips are piled alongside the fish. It's common to serve the dish with a slice of lemon and a side of mushy peas, mashed peas, or coleslaw. Fish and chips is enjoyed as a takeaway meal, and it's often eaten with the fingers. It's a popular comfort food in many parts of the world and has a long and storied history in the United Kingdom. While it may not be considered a traditional St. Helanian dish, it's possible to find it on the island due to its British influence. Sausage Rolls Pastry filled with seasoned sausage meat Sausage rolls are a popular savory pastry snack that originated in the United Kingdom but has become beloved in many other parts of the world, including St. Helena. They consist of a seasoned sausage meat filling enclosed in flaky pastry, creating a delicious and portable treat. Here's how sausage rolls are typically made. Ingredients Puff pastry Store-bought puff pastry sheets are commonly used for convenience, although some bakers make their own pastry from scratch. Sausage meat a mixture of ground pork or beef, often seasoned with herbs and spices for flavor. Seasonings. Various seasonings can be added to the sausage meat, such as salt, pepper, garlic, and herbs like sage or thyme. Egg wash. A beaten egg is often used to brush the pastry before baking, giving it a golden, shiny finish. Preparation. Prepare the sausage filling. The sausage meat is seasoned with the desired herbs and spices. It's important to mix the seasonings evenly throughout the meat. Roll out the pastry. Puff pastry sheets are rolled out into a rectangular shape. If using store-bought puff pastry, it usually comes in pre-rolled sheets. Shape and fill. The sausage meat is shaped into a log or cylinder and placed along one edge of the pastry sheet. The pastry is then folded over the meat to encase it completely. Seal and cut. The edges of the pastry are sealed, and the long sausage roll is divided into smaller, individual rolls, typically about 2 to 3 inches long. Egg wash. The tops of the rolls are brushed with beaten egg, which helps give them a shiny, golden appearance when baked. Baking. The sausage rolls are placed on a baking sheet and baked in a preheated oven until the pastry is puffed and golden brown, and the sausage meat is fully cooked. This usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes at a moderate temperature. Serving and enjoyment. Sausage rolls are often served warm and can be enjoyed in various ways. As a snack, Sausage rolls are a popular snack or appetizer, and they are commonly found in bakeries and cafes. In packed lunches, they make a convenient addition to packed lunches or picnics. As party food, miniature sausage rolls are a common choice for party platters and gatherings. 
Sausage rolls are a delicious combination of flaky, buttery pastry and flavorful sausage filling. They are versatile and can be enjoyed at any time of the day, making them a popular and satisfying choice for those looking for a savory snack on St. Helena or elsewhere. Battered Banana Sliced bananas coated in batter and fried until crispy. Battered bananas, also known as banana fritters or banana tempura, are a delightful dessert or snack made by coating banana slices in a sweet batter and deep frying them until they are golden brown and crispy. Battered bananas are enjoyed in various parts of the world and can be found as a street food or dessert option in some regions. Here's how to make them. Ingredients. Ripe bananas. Choose ripe but firm bananas for the best flavor and texture. Batter. The batter typically consists of flour, sugar, a pinch of salt, and a liquid, which can be water, milk, or even beer for a different flavor. Some recipes may include a small amount of baking powder for added fluffiness. Oil. For deep frying. Common choices are vegetable oil or canola oil. Sugar for dusting. After frying, you can dust the battered bananas with powdered sugar for added sweetness. Preparation. Prepare the bananas. Peel the ripe bananas and cut them into slices of equal thickness, usually about 1 half inch, 1.25 centimeters, thick. Prepare the batter. In a mixing bowl, combine the flour, sugar, and a pinch of salt. Gradually add the liquid, water, milk, or beer, while stirring continuously until you have a smooth, thick batter. The batter should be thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Heat the oil. Pour enough oil into a deep frying pan or pot to submerge the banana slices. Heat the oil to around 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 minus 190 degrees Celsius. You can test the oil's readiness by dropping a small amount of batter into the oil. It should sizzle and float to the surface. Coat the banana slices. Dip each banana slice into the batter, ensuring it is evenly coated. Allow any excess batter to drip off. Fry the bananas. Carefully place the battered banana slices into the hot oil, a few at a time, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry until they are golden brown and crispy, usually for two to three minutes. Use a slotted spoon or tongs to remove them from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. Serve. Battered bananas are typically served hot and can be dusted with powdered sugar before serving, if desired. Serving and enjoyment. Battered bananas are often served as a dessert or snack. They can be enjoyed on their own, but they also pair well with a scoop of ice cream, a drizzle of chocolate or caramel sauce, or a dollop of whipped cream. Their crispy exterior and warm, sweet interior create a delightful contrast in texture and flavor. Baked Potato Potatoes baked and served with various toppings like cheese, sour cream, or chili. Baked potatoes are a simple and versatile dish that can be enjoyed in various ways. They are essentially whole potatoes that are baked until they have a crispy skin and a tender, fluffy interior. Here's how to make baked potatoes. Ingredients. Potatoes. Russet or Idaho potatoes are commonly used for baking due to their high starch content and fluffy texture. Olive oil, optional, olive oil can be brushed on the potatoes to help achieve a crispy skin. Salt and pepper. For seasoning. Preparation. Select potatoes. Choose potatoes that are similar in size to ensure even cooking. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 375 to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 minus 220 degrees Celsius. The temperature can vary depending on your preference and the size of the potatoes. Higher temperatures will result in a crisper skin. Clean and dry. Wash the potatoes thoroughly and pat them dry with a kitchen towel. Poke holes. Using a fork, pierce the potatoes several times on all sides. This allows steam to escape during baking and prevents the potatoes from bursting. Oil and season. If desired, brush the potatoes with a little olive oil and sprinkle them with salt and pepper. This step is optional but enhances the flavor and texture of the skin. Baking. Place on a rack. For even cooking and a crispier skin, place the potatoes directly on the oven rack. Alternatively, you can place them on a baking sheet lined with foil. Bake. Bake the potatoes for about 45 minutes to 1 hour, or until they are tender when pierced with a fork or knife. The baking time will vary depending on the size and type of potato and the oven temperature. Rest. Remove the baked potatoes from the oven and let them rest for a few minutes. This allows the interior to settle and become fluffier. Serving and enjoyment. 
Baked potatoes can be enjoyed in various ways, and you can customize them with a variety of toppings and fillings. Here are some popular options. Classic. Serve with a dollop of sour cream or plain Greek yogurt, a sprinkle of chives, and a pat of butter. Loaded. Top with grated cheddar cheese, crispy bacon bits, sour cream, and chives for a hearty loaded baked potato. Chili topped. Spoon chili, meat or vegetarian, over a baked potato and add shredded cheese, diced onions, and sour cream. Broccoli and cheese. Steam some broccoli and top your baked potato with it, along with melted cheese and a drizzle of cheese sauce. Grilled seafood. Freshly grilled fish or lobster with local seasonings. Grilled seafood is a delicious and healthy option that is enjoyed in many coastal regions around the world, including places like St. Helena. Grilling seafood enhances its natural flavors and adds a smoky, charred aroma. Here's a general guide on how to prepare and grill seafood. Ingredients. Seafood. You can grill a variety of seafood, including fish fillets, e.g., salmon, tuna, mahi-mahi, whole fish, shrimp, prawns, scallops, squid, or even lobster. Marinade or seasoning. Prepare a marinade or seasoning to enhance the flavor of the seafood. Common ingredients include olive oil, garlic, lemon juice, herbs, such as parsley, thyme, or rosemary. Spices, like paprika or cayenne pepper, and salt and pepper. Preparation. Clean and prep. Ensure the seafood is cleaned and properly prepared. For whole fish, make sure it is gutted and scaled. For fillets, remove any bones. Shellfish like shrimp and prawns should be deveined and shelled if desired. Marinate. Place the seafood in a bowl or zip-top bag and add the marinade or seasoning. Let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, or longer for more flavor penetration. Be careful not to over-marinate delicate seafood, as it can become mushy. Grilling. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If you're using charcoal, wait until the coals are covered with white ash and the heat is even. Oil the grates. To prevent sticking, Use a paper towel or brush to oil the grill grates with vegetable oil. Direct versus indirect heat. Determine whether you'll use direct or indirect grilling based on the type of seafood. Thicker items like whole fish or large fillets are typically grilled over indirect heat to ensure they cook evenly without burning on the outside. Thinner fillets, shrimp, and shellfish can be cooked directly over the heat source. Grill. Place the seafood on the grill, skin side down if applicable, and close the lid. Cooking times vary depending on the thickness and type of seafood. A general guideline is to cook fish for about 10 minutes per inch of thickness, flipping it halfway through. Shrimp and shellfish cook quickly, usually in just a few minutes per side. Check for doneness. Seafood is done when it turns opaque and flakes easily with a fork. Overcooking can make it dry and tough.